Hi everyone, this is Mohammad Shafi Sardar, Faculty of Computer Science, SG College, Koppal. In today's session, we are going to discuss computational support for planning and uh, characteristics of control process. So there are four types of uh, con computational support needed for the analysis preparatory to planning and the preparation for the planning as well as for the output of the results. So the first an analysis of historical data to obtain relationship useful for projections. You need to analyze what are the historical data available in the uh, organization and uh, among the historical data what will be the relationship so that you can get a projections and as well as in second point you have to consider various projections and forecasting techniques to estimate a future values and in third point you have to consider computation internal to the plan and computation required for outputs you need to do various types of computation so that you can analyze the internal data as well as the what kind of output is required and uh, uh, and you will get the output with the help of computations and in the fourth point you, you need to consider output of the results in a meaningful way as well as in a proper plan format in a required format so historical data analysis techniques historical data needs to be analyzed so that you can discover, uh, discover a different uh, patterns as well as the relations between the data so that it will be useful for projecting the future values significantly with the various variables even where quantitative relations are not sufficiently stable to use forecasting the data analysis is very much useful for input for the uh, forecasting uh, judgment and historical ex uh, extrapolation techniques so historical data describes the past events uh, happening in the organization but the planning process involves the future of the organization so you need to estimate uh, based on some analysis of uh, past data combined with various techniques to generate data for uh, future planning purposes a financial planning needs a computation you need to develop some financial plans uh, as a model that provide a various computations and analysis uh, commonly required for measuring and in, uh, evaluating profits uh, for example uh, depreciation computation rate of return analysis and break even analysis so depreciation is a very significant uh, computation in most financial planning so it affects the profit computation because it is an expenses and it affects the cash flow and you need to compute the rate of return and you need to analyze the rate of return uh, in a, a specific method so that uh, what kind of uh, a profit profit you may gain uh, in future and as well as uh, uh, the time of the investment and the cash flows and various kinds of uh, uh, investment you have to consider you have to take into account so that uh, you can compute the profits out of investment and break even analysis is fairly a simple but very useful computation for determining the volume of activity at which there is not loss or profit and output of a planning result you need to process output of the planning so that uh, it can be presented in a suitable format and that is required for the user so commonly financial plans are uh, presented in in terms of projected income statement balance sheet or statement of cash flow in the same form how the actual user requires the output report it has to be generated in the same format and the other outputs will be prepared in a form suitable for the function project as well as organizational unit so where receiving their part of the 
plan and next uh, point is characteristics of control process so control consists of procedure to determine the deviations from plans and indicate the corrective actions to come out from the deviations so every major organization ha has to set a uh, three controls so controlling systems negative feedback control as well as law of requisite variety so control in system the basic model of system as input process and output so did not include the regulations and control of the system so it is a normal process how you are going to work with the system but you need to uh, include some control so that you can uh, improve your system a feedback loop is added to the basic model so you need to get the feedback regularly so that you can control your system effectively and in its simplest uh, outputs from the system are compared with the desired output and any difference causes an input to be sent to the process so that you can adjust the operations and the output will be closer to the standard so if there is any deviations or any uh, differences you need to identify it uh, with the uh, uh, process and as well as you have to uh, correct it with the different uh, operations adjust with the different operations and so that you can uh, come to the closer to the standards feedback which seeks to dampen and reduce fluctuations around the standard is termed a negative feedback it is used to feedback control loops as well as a positive feedback reinforces the directions in which the system is moving the negative feedback control basically you need to control a negative feedback into the system that means keeping the system operating within certain limits of performance a system which is out of control uh, functions outside the allowable limits because the regulatory mechanisms are not operative so controls using negative feedback normally involves uh, four elements in that the characteristics are conditioned to be controlled the characteristics are condition must measure measurable from the uh, output and as well as sensor for measuring the characteristics are condition a control unit which compares the measurement with standards or characteristics are condition an activating unit which generates a corrective input signal to the process and the last one law of requisite variety one of the basic notion of the system control theory is law of requisite variety to obtain control this has various uh, rigorous formulations but a common sense understanding is that to control each possible state of system elements there must be a corresponding control state to control 100 states of system elements there must be 100 different states of controls and the law of requisite variety means th that for a system to be controlled every controller either human or machine must be provided with enough control responses to cover all possible conditions and systems uh, may face uh, as well as the decision rules for generating all possible controls and authority to become self-organizing system in order to generate control responses so this is what a today's session thank you for today's session we will continue in the next session with another topic thank you very much